The circle puzzle symbolizes eternity, wholeness and cycles. Inspired by Juno, Queen of the Gods, this puzzle invites you to reflect on patterns and personal revolutions. Jigsaw puzzles are always a really good way to meditate, but when you combine them with a mechanical puzzle that you also need to think and try your best to figure out, then you get Waves Puzzle. This is a puzzle sent to me by Waves Puzzle themselves. The goal of the puzzle is to assemble a certain shape out of the pieces. And each one of these is based on a different shape. So this one is based on a square, this is based on a circle, and this is based on a triangle. The shapes are very, very beautiful and they're iridescent. That's how you say it, iridescent? Iridescent, which means they're gonna be really beautiful. And I must say, even before I solved the puzzle, it's super nicely packaged with a really nice cardboard box looking really good we're gonna take apart the packaging in a bit but just look at how well branded this is with this small text on the side and i think it's really important to frame this like in a meditative way i also will edit this video for you to enjoy it in more relaxed laid back style of editing waves puzzle iridescent acrylic puzzle 81 Pieces designed by Benjamin Sachs. Medium hard difficulty level seven out of 10. Let's see what levels are the other ones. So square 49 is level five out of 10 and triad is level nine out of 10. We're gonna do the circle today. So today I'm gonna do it without a timer because I do wanna relax and not be in any rush to solve this, which is part of the intended design. I want you to also feel this like really laid back way to solve this puzzle. Okay, we're finally doing this. Take off everything, find your flow. This circle puzzle invites you to reflect on cycles, eternity, wholeness, and personal revolution. Hint, begin with the circle of peace at the center, then work your way towards the edges to complete the puzzle channel your wave from a branding perspective they did a really nice job with the colors and everything and here's the solution on the back here's a nice napkin to wipe the puzzle and let's begin by taking everything out wow it looks so nice on the map of the table i've yet to see pieces like these before nice and a small one too Wow, so beautiful. The packaging is also a relaxing form of entertainment as well. So these probably will be the outer parts. Wow. ready to start the solve.
some of these seem like they don't fit right. Some pieces are different, some are the same. I guess I'll know for sure what needs to be where, only after I do the next layer. like I'm missing a piece. Where can it be? Here it is. Found it? Okay. So we're off to a good start. Now let's see what is the second layer. What should it be? For some reason I have a gut feeling that it would be easier for me to start with the outer part rather than the inner part. But if that's the hand they gave in the beginning, there's probably a good reason for that. I also wonder if there's more than one solution. Potentially there could be. But it will be the hardest to solve if there's only one solution possible. Moving away every piece I know I won't need for this layer. There you go. I think there should be more than one solution to this. So if a piece doesn't fit in a position I think it should fit in, I just move it around from the inner circle to another place and then it fits. I also like how the contrast of the pieces is so natural because they're iridescent, so... Oh, this looks like I should need this, right? 
it goes really smoothly so far. I'm actually pretty surprised. I guess there would be no tricks. I'm always, always ready for tricks. Yosaka's puzzles made me <laughs> traumatic to those tricks. So I'm always looking for something to go wrong. But this one has been a really nice experience so far. No stress, no anything. Just looking for the pieces slowly and putting them in the right place. And this marks the second layer. Let's drink some water, guys. Make sure to stay hydrated even while watching the video or solving puzzles. The pieces are because they're iridescent. You will see them in really lots of colors depending on the colors you have near your table. Isn't that so cool? So the next layer would be probably these. I think there is a total of four layers, maybe five. I think there's like 20 pieces in each layer. There are four layers in total and one circle. So this would be the next layer we need. And this, I believe, would go here. I think there's more than one solution to this. Because every piece can only connect to another piece on the bottom layer, which means even if I switch the locations of the pieces somehow, it will still fit. Making this a challenge to find the correct fits because the pieces are quite unusual, to say the least. So solving a puzzle that's not supposed to destroy your brain is pretty nice every once in a while. Really nice. This is so satisfying. Yeah, there's probably five layers then. There are 81 pieces. If there's five layers, it means we have 16 pieces on each layer. That makes things pretty interesting. Most of all, I hope that you guys can hear this really well because I live in a really loud city and having some time, some quiet time is pretty rare, but also some uh, animals living with us they also make some noise sometimes and yet somehow you guys managed to come on the most quiet time today lucky for you may not look like it, but every one of these nosy pieces is a bit different. So I guess there's only one place where each piece can fit. Because the circle is spreading wider, then it's pretty easy to understand which part of the puzzle needs to be inside and which has to be outside, since usually the larger part is facing out. Nice. So I think the trick here is that every one of these connections is pretty much the same. So the only difference we see is in the connections between the layers themselves. But every piece can connect with every other piece of the opposite gender, like so. That's a really clever design. Which means that every time you solve it, it will not be like super difficult, but mostly soothing. So this is really different than what I usually saw on the channel. And I also really want to hear your perspective on this, your take, because you are the viewer, you are important. I really do appreciate your opinions. So let me know what you think about this so far. I always try to show you really cool stuff 
and I think the affordable stuff is also very important to show because not everything is sparkles and like crazy stuff. Sometimes solving something simple and nice leads to a peaceful evening or some fun time with friends. I think that's what's really important rather than just doing what's the most expensive or like trying to find the hardest to find puzzle. It's nice as a concept, but to lead a chill and satisfying life, I think, being satisfied with these kind of puzzles where you just relax and put the pieces inside. I think this is life itself. I know it sounds pretty philosophical, but I guess I guess we went into the flow state that Wig's puzzle is trying to put us in. When you look at it this way, it's really nice to be able to enjoy a puzzle like this at home. There were times where I didn't really have time for puzzles and now having a few hours to spare and solve it. So I wouldn't say I spared those two hours, I, I decided to invest those two hours to show you the puzzle. But this is also something to be thankful for. There's so much of these things that I'm thankful for. Also have really big plans for the channel. I think we reached uh, kind of like a place where I stopped growing because I stopped trying to to do new things and innovate. But now that I got this stagnation, I had some time to improve as a person, as a human being, and I'm now ready to grow again. But it really needs, like there's so much more to YouTube growth than meets the eye. And to growth overall, like anyone watching this, you probably have some areas in your life where you wanna grow. There's one way to see the growth until you try and, and grow actually, and then the pain begins and uh, growth is not always easy. It usually is difficult to be honest because going out of your comf comfort zone, just like opening a new puzzle and not knowing what will happen next is always difficult. You don't think it ever gets easy, but I do think that every time you do it, you get better at going out of your comfort zone, which is then helpful the next time you try something new. Huh. only a few pieces left it's time for me to say thank you for watching subscribe for more and watch this video next if you enjoyed this one by the way this took me 40 minutes to fully solve what a great one I didn't expect it to be this nice to solve and this fun I like how it holds itself together really nicely yeah so we are done